Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be looking at exactly what is the easiest way to create luminosity masks in Photoshop. Now, if you don't know what a luminosity mask is, it's really easy to understand what they are if you think about gray tones within an image. Now, every image is made up of gray tones that the colors represent. So if you have a lot of blues, you're gonna have different gray tones associated with those blues. Luminosity masking is affecting those 50% gray and lighter gray tones within your image. It's a really good way to bring out a lot of the dynamic range that is going on within your image. So the images that have a lot of detail, have a lot of color, have a lot of dynamic range within them, those are gonna be your images that are best used with luminosity masking. But luminosity masking is really good for bringing out like more detail in your image. You can push your images to the boundaries even if your camera can't capture the best dynamic range, you can use the luminosity masking effect in Photoshop to really expand that dynamic range and create some really interesting detail within your image. Luminosity masking has been made really popular by Tony Kuiper. You have all of these luminosity masking panels that you can download to Photoshop, but the simplest way to adjust an image based on luminosity masking is with a technique that allows you to select the 50% gray and brighter areas of your image and create an adjustment layer out of those. So let's go ahead and pop into Photoshop and let's see exactly how we can create these luminosity masks 100% easier, 100% faster and be more efficient with our photo editing. All right guys, once you're in Photoshop, what you're gonna wanna do to start creating these luminosity masks over this photograph you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and hit Control or Command J over your background. You always wanna keep your background layer locked and intact in case you mess up the other layers on top of that. If you delete this or unlock this and make alterations to it, you're altering that base layer and you're not going to be go able to go back and alter that layer later in your editing process. Now this is a photograph that we changed and altered in Lightroom in an earlier video that's linked below in the description of this video called Masking in Lightroom. It's a really good example of how you can change different things within the photograph and mask out parts of your changes within the Lightroom software. But right now we're gonna be focusing on this layer right here. Now, with a luminosity mask, what you're doing is altering 50% gray and greater. So with this layer selected, I'm going to select my channels panel up here at the top. And if you don't have that, you can go to window and select channels right here, and it'll pop up uh, a tab for you. So all you're gonna do is hit Control or Command and select your RGB channel. Now what that's gonna do, and you're gonna see the selection pop up here, is select everything within your image that is of 50% gray value and greater and allow you to change that within the image. So as you can see, these images that have a lot of detail or a lot of dynamic range, you're going to have a lot of areas of your photos selected. And these are the most useful and powerful photographs that you can use with luminosity masking. Now, with this selection, what you're going to do is come down to this little icon down here that's like a half-filled circle, and that is your adjustment layers icon. And you select that, and what I like to do with an adjustment layer is select the curves adjustment layer. Now your selection went away, but as you can see, that's because Photoshop has loaded that selection into your curves adjustment layer mask right here. Now, this is the easiest form of luminosity masking that I have ever found. So this is not like the part of luminosity masking that Tony Kuiper has made such a great improvement on through the Photoshop software. This is just the easiest way you can do that. So what I wanna do is here you have your curves panel that comes up whenever you select that curves adjustment layer. And what you're gonna be doing is playing around with your highlights and shadows portion of the curve. Now up here is your whites. Down here on the curve is your highlights. In the middle you have your midtones. Down in the bottom portion you have your shadows and at the very bottom you have your blacks. 
So what I'm going to do is select this part of the curve, which is my highlights, and I can just slowly bring that up. And you can see in the image, it's already starting to make changes and bring out a lot of detail and color within that part. And then I'm going to come down here and select my shadows portion of the curve. And I'm kind of just going to pull that down and make a slight S curve with my curve adjustment layer. Now you may be saying, well that didn't really do too much, but if you hold down the shift key and select that curves adjustment layer, you can see that without that luminosity mask, you're actually adjusting a lot more in that image that makes it worse. So with the 50% gray and lighter selected, you're making subtle changes within your image that allow you to make the photograph better. Now, let's say that you don't like part of the adjustment that it made. Let's say uh, back here, there's a little bit too much yellow. Maybe I want to adjust that and eliminate that part of the luminosity mask. Well, all you have to do with that is create a new mask on top of your luminosity mask. And what you do to do that is select your luminosity mask right here and then you're gonna come down and click to create a new mask with this icon. Now, all I have to do with that is come up and select my paintbrush, and your brush is gonna come up. You can increase or decrease that size with your left and right bracket keys. I'm gonna decrease it a little bit because we're dealing with a lot of detail in the back of the image, and I'm also gonna decrease my opacity, maybe something like 50% just because I don't want this change to be so drastic from the rest of the image, this is gonna tone down that effect that we're eliminating. What you wanna do first is come down here with your paintbrush and you have a white and a black selected. I'm gonna hit this reverse icon right here to reveal the blacks. And that's going to allow me to reveal what the luminosity mask uh, did behind it. I'm just gonna slightly paint this out to remove some of the oversaturation that the mask uh, revealed in this image. So I'm just gonna paint that out, and I like that a lot. I think the yellow in the background revealed a little too much saturation, looked unnatural. I might come down here to this blue building too and paint some of that out, just like that, to make a very subtle change to the saturation. And here's your overall image that we have, a really effective way to use luminosity mask, a fast way to use it, and an easy way to use it. And you can continue to stack these on top of one another and continue to make luminosity masks to improve your photograph.